Eight alarm fire turns midtown Philadelphia into a smoking furnace. All 16 sets of elevated railway tracks leading to famous Broad Street Station are twisted like so much spaghetti as 50 engines battle the blaze. Servicemen swell the force of firefighters to more than 3,000. A hundred overcome by smoke poisoning are treated on the scene. Philadelphia, scene of the Congressional Limited tragedy, worst in 25 years of railroading, sees its second rail disaster within a week. The Navy, too, has something in the way of secrets to unfold. The Grumman Hellcat. Admiral Nimitz reports the Japs got a preview in the recent Marcus Island raid. It certainly can travel. Thrilled for the cameramen. It hits better than 400 per. Hellcat, the deadliest thing on wing. Sergeant Worley, how old were you when you enlisted in the Army? I was 14, sir. 14? How did you get in when you were 14? Well, I went to Peoria, sir, and uh, told the recruiting officer there that I was 18, so he let me in. Now, how many combat missions were you on in, uh, over enemy territory? 22, sir. 22. Where were they mostly? Mostly were they were in Africa, sir. Sicily? Sicily, Pandelaria, and Sardinia. Have you got a girl back home? No, sir. Girls don't bother me much. What did you miss mostly while you were away? Oh, ice cream sodas was the most, I guess. Uh, were you scared at all when you were uh, over enemy territory on these missions? No, sir. Not while I was over enemy territory, but when we come back to the field, you get out of the plane, you're shaking like a leaf on a tree. What decoration back home? Are you going to worry about being drafted? No, sir. I'll come back in as soon as I can without them being... The World at War, filmed by Movie Tone. The U.S. cruiser Savannah hit by an fire, and smoke pours out of the vessel. The Savannah, one of the warships supporting the landing at Salerno. And this is a crisis. They fight the fire aboard the stricken cruiser. Heroic work and a great job by the crew, battling against the blaze that threatens to engulf the ship. Casualties were sustained and the wounded are cared for. The Savannah and her crew played their part in hurling broadsides against the enemy on the beaches of Salerno. The Nazis report that the warship, struck by aerial explosive, went to the bottom. But here, Navy pictures show the Savannah afloat. Attention for the wounded and damage repaired. And in 20 minutes, the cruiser is in action again at Salerno. The Savannah, after sustaining a direct hit of a bomb, is again hurling ponderous broadsides. There are many river crossings on the road to Rome. Streams that flow from the central range of the Apennines to the sea. And these are obstacles for the Allied forces to cross as they drive forward. One of the strongest of the river lines, stubbornly defended by the Germans, has already been broken, the Volturno. And Signal Corps motion pictures show that strategic river bridged, equipment moving across. The weather has been bad for the Fifth Army advance. Days and days of pouring rain, with the country turned into a bog. The old city of Benevento was a scene of bitter fighting. An important transport center, Benevento was bombed by Allied planes, then a target for artillery shelling, and finally devastated by the Nazis in their policy of wreck and ruin as they retreat in Italy. Built of old-fashioned masonry, the buildings simply crumpled under the impact of modern war, though an antique bridge still stands amid the ruins. American troops moving in, 
search the debris for landmines, and they find one, such as the retreating Germans leave behind. In Naples, delayed explosions have created tragic havoc, but that deposit of buried destruction will cause no further devastation in Benevento. Railroad yards were hit hard by Allied bombing to paralyze Nazi transportation. Tracks and trains blasted to rubbish, but the railroad yards will soon be put into working condition again for Allied use. Benevento, many centuries ago, was the seat of a great Lombard dukedom and for ages has known the ravages of war. But never such pulverizing destruction as comes in the clash of modern battle with the Allied armies fighting to drive the Nazis out of Italy. The convoy in northern waters is protected by Soviet sea and air forces. A shipload of Allied flour. And at Naples, it is made into bread. This is tried by an American officer who says, OK, and so does the Italian policeman. The first white bread the people of Naples have had in three years. And we see an excited bread line. <laughs> Women in tears. That's how precious white bread is to them. After Italy entered the war, food was short. And then the Nazis reduced Naples to starvation. So now there's nearly a riot. The Allied rule is, women first. She gets her quota of that rare luxury. And the Bambino gets his, the first white bread he has ever had. after two years of war. In the Pacific alone, the enemy has lost a total of 721 vessels sunk, of which 205 were warships sent to the bottom. The Japs hit by fleets of bombers and by the salvos of naval guns. Landing operations, the Navy blazes the way. Our undersea fleet is raising havoc along the Japanese lines of communications. American submarines have sunk 319 ships in the Pacific. On the conning tower, six flags, six vessels destroyed. An aircraft carrier of the Navy was the Shangri-La, from which General Doolittle's planes flew to bomb Tokyo. They hit at the heart of Japan, and other enemy strongholds have been bombed hundreds of times. Air power collaborating with sea power. Warships winning a great series of night battles. menace has been checked by the Navy in a campaign featured by air attacks on submarines, like that strafing attack on a hostile prowler. In every theater of war, the fleet is in action, in battle. The war of landings, which puts action... 